Okay, so we're now ready to install the peep sight. I'm going to use the rubber band that I cut, and I'm going to guesstimate to start where I think my peep sight will be. Now, I've been shooting a long time. I'm pretty sure I know exactly from the top knot of my D-loop where my peep sight's going to be. I'm going to put the rubber band, same trick. I'm just going to loop it around through. Just kind of cinch it down lightly. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to put an uh, arrow in the bow. I'm going to draw the bow back. I'm going to see where this knot sits in my eye. Okay, I have an arrow here just in case the D-loop fails me, which I don't think it will. It's on there really securely. I don't even have a rest bolted on. So all I'm doing is I'm just drawing this bow back just to see where the peep is going to fit in my eye. And all I'm doing is I'm just establishing my anchor and I'm just seeing where that fits in my eye. So let me show you what it looks like if it's not. So if it was really far down here, way too low, should be able to see this on camera. You'll see that does not line up with my eye at all. It actually lines up with my nose. If it's up too high, it doesn't come anywhere near my eye. So I want to have my established anchor. You can even do, a lot of people say, close your eyes and then open them and then see where that peep is. Okay. So now I have to adjust this back. So now I have a starting point for my peep. I want to go to press the bow and put the peep in. All right, so we have the bow in the press here. I use an easy green press. I used the Bowmaster Bow Press by Martin Archery for many years. Did not have a single problem with it. It's a great bow press, and for 50, 60 bucks, however much it is, it is totally worth every single penny. Please, I have to urge you, do not, I repeat, do not Aggie engineer some sort of bow press where you stick something through the cams. Oh my gosh, I... There's the, the video on YouTube from, I believe it's Drave's Archery, where the gentleman sticks an Allen key through the cams, you know, draws the bow back under tension, then has someone stick an Allen key through the cams, that skeletonized cams, you know, it's just missing all kinds of metal, and then just lets the bow and puts all that pressure on that Allen key on the limbs. I mean, just don't do that. Get a press, get a press that works. A Bowmaster is a great press. Uh, Nighthawk makes a great press. You notice here I have the uh, Easy Green and it presses everything really nice. So here I have my rubber band and where my peep's going to be. You can pick any peep you like. Now this is an unfortunate um, thing here with this uh, Diamond Infinite Edge that this is not a two color string. So you kind of have to hope you find the bundles. The two bundles of 12. Uh, 24 strand string. I think I found them here. Got a pretty even looking. This is a 3 16 inch uh, RID Superduce peep. So if you have a two color string, the colors are even. So if you have, you know, black and green, there'll be 12 of black and 12 of green, and everything will be good. You won't have to worry about this. If you, however, have a solid color string and you don't get them even, you'll have some uh, interesting peep rotation issues. Okay, so we've got that under tension now. Uh, so, so again, what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to draw this bow back and make sure that I don't have anything uh, weird going on here. Uh, you know, I can I can move the peep now up and down, so I'm going to take this out of the press and uh, I'm just going to draw it back once or twice and adjust the peep accordingly. Alright, so I have the peep now adjusted to the bow back a couple of times. Uh, now I can serve it in, but you notice something that the D-loop and the peep are facing at you. They need to be facing 90 degrees from where they are. So this is an important thing to note. Before you go and you know you start timing and tuning, I like to put everything in the strings that I'm going to have in the strings. So I'm going to put in bow jacks, uh, string silencers, one here in the top above the peep, and one down here below the string stop. And this is why it's also very important to, to, to do what I did at the beginning of the video, uh, which is uh, shoot the strings in. You know, if they have any creep to them, and you, uh, you know, you do all this timing, and you put your peep in, everything served in right, and blah, 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 and then you go to, you know, shoot 40, 50 times, and then all of a sudden everything's just totally out of kilter, it's because your string stretched a little bit. And that's fine, you know, string stretch is normal. And as you notice, I put that in, and it turned even more. It's now actually facing the complete opposite direction that I want it to be. And if I was going to add them to the cables here, I would do that now too. The D-loop and the peep are in line with each other, but just whenever the bow is shot or whenever the bow is let down, they, the, the whole thing rotates. All right, so to combat this really nasty peep twist, I'm going to press the bow, get a pretty good amount of press in it, take the string off the cam, and I'm going to give it a half twist in the direction it needs to go. Bring it up, half twist that way. I can lay it back in the track of the cam. I'll have to re-bend uh, this tag end out here so it goes around the cam correctly. This is why it's so important to have a legitimate bow press. Press out slowly. That looks good. That looks great. And look at that. That peep came right around. If you give the string a little pluck 
and they want to turn again, you can take the bow out of the press, but you can do it this way too. Just give them a little pluck, and if they start to turn again, you know you have uh, some bigger issues on hand, but that seems to be fine. We can start serving everything in. To tie in a peep sight, you can use any sort of material you'd like in terms of you know serving material. I personally use uh, 3D in serving from BCY. Works really well, has a good, really good melt to it. I've used it for quite some time, never had any problem with it. If you get new strings and uh, you have the old strings, keep the old strings, and if you don't want to buy any kind of serving or anything, you know, you're only going to tie in maybe one peep sight or a string sensor or two, and you're not going to do that for another couple of years, just take that old string that you salvaged and cut everything off in between the serving pieces and use the longest bits, which are mostly going to be your cables probably, use the longest bits to um, tie in your peeps and tie in your string silencers, whatever, whatever else you need. You can pretty much get a couple years worth out of just one string. So you can use any knot you like. I know some guys use super knots. I know some guys use constrictor knots. I personally use a constrictor knot, tie a knot at the top. Um, I do the little fancy wrap thing because I just think it looks cool and I go down to the bottom do the constrictor down there. Um, there are plenty of tutorials already on YouTube so I'm not going to go ahead and go through all that. It's just way too much video footage. So I'll see you here in a minute when I'm done.